You knew it was bound to happen. Samsung has followed Apple's strategy on several occasions in the past, so it should come to no one's surprise that the Korean company is also coming up with a more affordable flagship model. In this case, it's the Samsung Galaxy S10e, which is the company's answer to the Apple iPhone XR with a starting price of $750. What jumped out the most with the Samsung Galaxy S10e upon our first interaction with it was its design, one that harkens back to the Galaxy S7. It doesn't employ that catchy dual curve edge display that Samsung has implemented in its last couple of flagship generations. The flat look of the display definitely threw us off initially, but beyond that, the phone still flaunts the same metal meets glass construction of its siblings. Even better is that Samsung doesn't make any major sacrifices with the design or functionality, seeing that the premium construction still manages to include a seamless edge-to-edge -edge look with its Infinity OLED display. There's a standard 3.5mm headphone jack, you have an IP68 water resistance, expandable storage courtesy of a micro SD card slot, and wireless charging. The only thing missing here is the in-screen fingerprint sensor, which is swapped for a side-mounted one. Now, it's up for debate whether a fingerprint reader on the side is more or less convenient than one on the back of the phone, as was the case with the Galaxy S9 and S9 Plus. Factoring how little Samsung compromised with the design of the S10e, it's quite compelling to see this level of uniformity around this year's S10 line, where it means that they've crafted something a bit smaller in size, while still including all the features we talked about. We're really digging the new Samsung One UI the Galaxy S10e is running on top of Android 9 Pie. Not only is the interface mainly driven by a new gesture-based system, but also appears cleaner as a whole. This is potentially the most underrated thing about the new S10 line, given how other aspects seem to capture more priority. The S10e is also powered by the same Snapdragon 855 chipset that's used in the S10 and S10 Plus. So it's no surprise that the phone responds with the same instantaneous actions. Its quick responsiveness was evident right away, reminding us of the responsiveness of OnePlus's Oxygen OS. It's really something because we're talking about Samsung here. Unlike its siblings, the Galaxy S10e is only graced with a dual camera system. That's not terrible to say the least, especially when it features the same 12 megapixel dual aperture main camera paired with a 16 megapixel wide angle one. The S10e does not have a proper telephoto lens, but hey, this configuration is still a versatile package, especially when it's going to be tapping into the same AI-powered scene recognition feature that promises to enhance photos accordingly. Low-light performance in particular should also benefit from AI scene detection, so we're eager to find out how the S10e handles these conditions. The more we think about the Samsung Galaxy S10e and its total package, the more we begin to think about how the Korean giant is blatantly competing toe-to-toe -to -toe against Apple. And you know what? We gladly welcome this because it'll force other manufacturers to realize that you can still achieve flagship caliber qualities in a $750 smartphone. As of right now, the S10e has a ton of potential in being a major player in this particular price range. Additionally, we can't neglect comparing it to its siblings, the S10 and S10 Plus. For an additional $150 you could spend on getting the S10 at $900, the only major difference between them are the in-screen fingerprint sensor, the rear triple camera system, and the slightly more stylish design. It's a tough call to validate those features and the higher costs, but the S10e nonetheless shows us that it isn't one to be forgotten. It's still too early to say for sure, but only time will tell. And that is it for a quick hands-on look here at the Samsung Galaxy S10e. If you guys want to learn more about it, you can check out our website, phoneweena.com. This is John V, signing off.